Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do a prediction video. I intend to do this with the Gears events, but now that Halo is finally here, I might as well do the same for uh, Halo. I like doing this kind of stuff, so let's get into it. Uh, Optic Gaming Pioneers, Big Chilling in the Chiefs, and Pool A, and then we got Pool B, Phase G2 Esports, Navi, Divine Mine. And in Pool D, we have Cloud9, Ascent, Xset, and Space Station Gaming. And in Pool C, we have United, Quadrant, Oxygen Esports, and The Boys. Um, we're going to go into here, thanks to uh, Richie Hines um, giving us a cool little setup here. Um, I think there is someone else that's on, but whatever. Um, Here's um for Friday's matches if you guys want to see that but um moving on um Optic Gaming I think are going to go 3 and 0 is there a way I can make the size bigger Yeah they're going to go 3 and 0 in this pool I can see them go 2 and 1 and lose the Pioneers and Pioneers going cuz they those two teams have been going at it pretty close but at Pioneers Going two one, uh, and then it comes down to Bing Chilling and the Chiefs. Um, I think Bing Chilling is like an EU team. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna go with the Chiefs on this one and going. Uh, how do I undo that? Undo that. Undo that. I'm gonna go one and two in their pools and then i have big chilling going oh and three um pool b i got phase going three and oh in this one i don't think it's any contest uh g2 esports i have them going two and one and i got navi going one and two it's just all regional stuff I think, i'm pretty sure divine mine is like top three a or top two australian team i have them going O and three um and pool c we got united um quadrant is the top eu team and then we got auction esports and then we have the boys um i got united going three and O in this pool and then i got quadrant going two and one this is the number one european team i think right no they're the number two european team hmm. this is probably going to be the toughest one out of them all but for the boys i have them going oh and three i don't think they're going to do anything but knowing them they could be this this the i think the pool where like certain teams are going to beat certain teams and same with pool d but I'm just going to go, you know, I'll just go with my gut. I'll go with Quadrant. They're the second best European team. Um, Oxygen has failed to be, um, you know, the number one uh, LATAM team before. So, but I have them winning at least against the boys. But I could see them having a good uh, loser bracket run for the Oxygen. Uh, pool D, I got Cloud9 going 3-0, and but weird things can happen, like, I feel like, you know, Space Station Gaming could be Cloud9, then Xset will be Space Station, then Ascend will be Xset, like, this could be the most wild, like, bracket ever, um, because everything is so close, um, as sad as this sounds, I'm going to go with Xset going 0-3, but I can feel like they could take a map off of someone. Um, I'll have Ascend going 1-2. And, and Space Station going... You know what? Let me redo this. This is how I feel that's what's going to go happen. 1-2... One and two. 
and one and two. I feel like some weird things is going to happen in this series. Um, but yeah, that is just my prediction. So with Optic Gaming, they'll be in the winners. Uh, Pioneers, I have FaZe and G2 Esports coming out. Um, for E United, I have them coming out with uh, Quadrant and in Pool D. I'm going to have Cloud9 and... I'm assuming this would go into a triple header or something. I don't know how it works, but one of these teams will eventually go out. So this is just my predictions. Uh, if you guys know the rules of like if there's a triple header in a pool play, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little quick uh, prediction video. Um, let me know in the comment section down below also who you think will make it out of the pool play um, as I'm recording this video it's going on right now so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy and uh, peace